Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again this time we've randomized as a character that can prove to be a little difficult sometimes, but not, isn't always. We're playing as Bethany this time around. I find this character to be a little iffy just because obviously no soul heart health is, uh, is pretty bad. But overall, a pretty decent character and honestly an XL floor is exactly the sort of thing we want out of this because um, we can't get our protection for devil deals anyways and so... Having the ability to get our angel deal um, on the first floor is potentially pretty nice. Well, we'll see how this goes, obviously. I mean, do you know what? I cannot complain about a tears up also. We've got the lovely hair physics going on right now. Um, it'd be nice if you could come and blow this up. Not that we need it particularly, but it would be nice. There you go. You beautiful, beautiful guy. We can even get another a wisp going on. Obviously, this is going to be a little tricky with this guy, but he is uh, he's doing a pretty fine job at pretty much deleting all of the rocks that are in the way of combat right now. As for the question of the day, what if, if you could choose any mode of transport to only use that mode of transport forever, what would be your preferred mode of transport? And walking doesn't count. It has to be an actual mode of transport. Uh, like, like, it doesn't have to be a vehicle as such, but it can't be just walking. <laughs> Um, that'd be interesting to know. Because it's like... I don't know. Like, if if cycling counts, I'd definitely say cycling would be mine. Uh, oh, that, I love that trinket there. Uh, we've also got the Apple of Pride, the stat boost. I think I'll take this. It's, it's generally not an amazing item, but um, the damage boost is undeniably good. Um, and... Once you get two or three tiers ups, which we've already got one small tiers up, it becomes l much less of a nuisance of an item, and so I think it's actually going to be pretty good. And okay, this is uh, this is a good run. <laughs> this is this is a pretty good run. The game has 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 blessed us quite generously at the moment. I'm pretty happy about that. The game has has really done us a solid here and decided to uh, decided to to give us what we needed to make this run work. It's all part of the streak, baby. This is just how the streaks go. I'm really liking the fact that we're able to get so many wisps to protect our potential angel deal here. I'm going to beeline it straight for the boss as soon as we find it here. Um, I will blow up one of these and open it. I know we've only got one key, but I think it's worthwhile. Um, indeed it was. Indeed it was. Um, yeah, this is, this is some good stuff. I like it. Now we've just got to not lose our wisps uh, too early here. But with the damage we're outputting, especially with that Apple of Pride uh, giving us some um, some extra stats here, especially the extra fire rate, I think we should be okay here. Obviously, we've got to watch out for the laser beam because that can still hit us through our wisps and, and all that. Uh, but luckily with the watch out lasers, it's not that bad for uh, taking care of that. And we'll see what our other boss ends up being. Okay, it's just just little old pin. Just little old pin. I think this should be mighty, mighty fine. Easy, and we get an amazing item on top of that. And in here, another amazing item. This might be one of the best starts to a run I've had in a while. This is an insane item. Enemies are instantly killed with a half health. Bosses are instantly killed at a quarter. Um, yeah, that's unbelievably good. Um... Because basically what we've just done there is doubled our damage, which was already doubled by Eve's Mascara, plus Pentagram, which already gave it a bonus, plus 2020, which is also doubling it. So, realistically, we have more than quadrupled our damage since the start of this run on the first floor. I mean, technically two floors, but basically the first floor. Like, there's not many runs where you can literally quadruple your damage output this quickly. <laughs> Um, more than quadruple. It's, 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 it's actually nuts. <laughs> We've got literally three things currently that double our damage, essentially. And we also get, um, George on top of this, which I think I'll definitely take. B, um, BFF is, uh, not BFF, BFF Hive Mind is very good, but George being able to give us, um, extra red rooms is a lot of fun. We just want to make sure not to accidentally error room it, because you can pretty easily error room yourself with George. I've done it before. Uh, so you have to be a little wary of that. And we get a stars card to save as a key on the next floor. This has been just the most glorious start to a run as Bethany that you've ever done seen. This really is something quite special, right? Uh, so I think rooms like this will have a red room attached. No, they won't. The D100, I don't think I'll be taking. Thank you very much. We do get ourselves belly button here. 
So uh, as long as the red room appears on the minimap, it's fine uh, to to go ahead and walk into it. And we got our ultra secret room straight away. You watch this be sacred heart. Just just based on how insane this run currently is, you watch this be sacred heart or like more of the void or something just absolutely stupendously good. Okay, it isn't. It's unfortunately just Barat or whatever it's called, but it's still good. Confessionals can be useful, especially when we can't have soul hearts. They can be pretty good. There's little baby batteries there. Yeah, this is this is some good stuff. This is a, a very, very strong run so far. And we're in the market for more angel deals on top of this. Ooh, a golden penny as well. Lovely stuff. This is the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. We still haven't been hit from our extra stat boost. Dude, these things are tanky. What the hell? Um... I... I think this enemy's broken. I've killed these many a time before and they've never taken this many hits. Okay, this enemy's definitely broken. Debug tenant. Uh, debug ten? Oh, there you go. Okay, no. One of them in like, one of them specifically is just unkillable. Like, even debug ten. Hasn't killed it. Which is very strange. We're just going to have to wait out the timer, I think. I'll try bomb him, see if that does anything. I don't even know if that hit him, actually. Weird, man. Very strange. I've never had this happen before. I don't know what's, uh, what's causing this. But luckily the room will open soon and let us out, so... There's not a threat of us being stuck in here forever. We've just got to wait, uh, bide our time and wait. I'm liking being a, a giraffe with a little <laughs> flowy hairs and a flaming head. That's pretty nice. Come on, game. Pull this out. <laughs> Come on. Hurry yourself up. I could just spawn in Dad's key, I guess, and, and let ourself out. Or I could just bomb my way out. Why didn't, why didn't I do that earlier? I don't know, but hopefully that that's not going to happen. I'm guessing that was something to do with the half HP item, the, the one that insta-kills at half HP. I'm guessing it's something weird to do with that. Oh, dude. Tears uh, with chance base effects gain homing significant size increase. I don't think we have anything with a chance base effect right now, but th this is a very, very good trinket that we've uh, that we've made use of before. You can get some pretty pretty strong herming off of the back of this. So we're hoping that that comes to fruition. Oh, I've been able to kill those guys before they even take off is uh, is just beautiful. Just beautiful indeed. Is this another one of these? My god. Can we have two at once? We can indeed. We can indeed have two of these at once. Very nice. I'm going to do my boss straight away because we've got the damage and... We've currently not lost our angel deal, so I feel it's the best possible time to go for this. There you go. One quarter health and he's dead. We got another angel deal. We got another damage up on top of that. A little delirium. A little bit of a disappointment, I'll be honest, but... He's fine. He's fine. Right. Quickly go and try and find our shop. But this is... This is a, a, a pretty ludicrous run here. And now we've got smaller tiers as well. Is that double magician? Okay. I mean, we might as well pop one of them now and then just keep the other one. Stop it from getting hit for a little while, I guess. The repelling aura. Are we actually going to be able to get to our shop here? Oh, yes, okay. I was, I was thinking it was attached to that other room that we couldn't get through, but it's not. Of course it's not. That was a dead-end room. That's why we bombed our way out. Hopefully we can find an active item that suits our uh, suits our Book of Virtues nicely as well. We'll see. Extra bomb. Thank you. Got another red room in here. Converts pickups into burn orbitals. Um, I don't think this will have its own um, 
wisp, therefore it's just actually a cheaper way of getting normal wisps. Oh no, it does have its own wisp. Okay, interesting. I was not expecting that. It, it does seem to be a wisp that fires. Oh no, it doesn't seem to be a wisp that fires though, which is maybe not, not the most ideal situation, but seems fine to me. Beautiful stuff. Right, away we go to the next floor. This has been just an absolutely incredible run so far. <laughs> Uh, I might as well plop, plop a bomb or two in you and see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing much of value, but I will go and hug my best pal here. Okay, down we go. We probably could have used the Barata a little bit there. I probably should have done, actually, considering there's some red hearts lying around. That's my bad. I didn't really think about it before I left. It was only after I'd made the decision to leave. So it tends to pick up into burn orbitals, so we can use that for protection as well, which is good for safety and good for not being hit. Which I do want to keep my, my double apple of pride alive at the moment, so it would be nice. Oh, it turns those into wisps as well. Okay, that's very strong. <laughs> Protection-wise, that's very, very good. Instead of turning them into burn, it burns, it now turns them into uh, wisps as well. Another red room here. Just gotta be aware of whenever the red room leads us off of the map. We don't want to make a mistake and jump the gun. So yeah, if you've ever got like an excess of stuff, it's well worth just turning them into into wisps here. The thing the thing we've got to realise is if we get hit, we lose a large, a large amount of fire rate. A very, very large amount of fire rate, which would be uh, pretty tragic. I do actually have a burn orbital around me. It's not like I don't get any burn orbitals anymore. Just a battery in there. Charge baby is fine, I guess. I don't really need it, but I would take him if I got the money for it. So I'll wait until I get... Actually, I should probably pop this as well at this point. Curve away from me. There you go. You can keep turning those into wisps because we just we've we've got enough keys right now to to be fine, to be happy. My God, game! What did I just say? <laughs> okay, we've got to be very careful here and keep our back against the wall. Um, turns pedestal into a thingy locust. Nice. Do the boss straight away, I think. If we get a bad boss item, we can turn it into a locust. We did get perfection, which is interesting. We also got GMO corn. I think I'll take perfection for the other one. Yeah. Just in case we can keep it. I mean, why not rock it right now? And then GMO corn I like, but it can teleport you. So I want to take it as the last thing I take on the floor. It can actually be really problematic, to be honest. And honestly, as, as safe as we feel right now, I would absolutely love if the game would actually give me some extra HP. I think three hearts is for this long is scary, even on a run this good. Lovely stuff. Check what our boss in here is. Boss item. Boss item is Foul Gut, which is... Foul Gut's kind of an interesting one, because it gives you a heart container, two burn hearts, but it fills them all with rotten hearts. I think it's worth it. I know it's a little risky, but it actually bolsters our HP quite a lot uh, the, with the amount of HP we now have. And also, while we're not getting hit, the flies are probably really, really useful with the amount of damage we have. So I don't think it's a bad thing, really. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. We do now have enough money by quite a quite a way. Go back and see what our item room contains. It's a little risky, obviously, with Rotten Hearts, but I think overall this is good. This is a better item. This is a better item. It's it, basically this item. Every time we use the book, we do get a Wisp, but we gain damage, and it does. It is a Wisp that fires as well. Although it isn't quite as generous. Ooh, there's another red room here that I didn't consider. My bad. Forgot about George. I'm sorry, George. Got a black heart there, which I guess I'll grab. Why not? Why not? And then this I can red rune, I guess. There you go. Why not? Okay, let's go and buy charge, baby. 
I think Charge Baby's still useful. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything that's going on right now. I'll be honest, I'm pretty darn happy. Charge Baby, Charge, Charge Baby's actually going to be pretty good with this, um, this active, you know. I think it's going to be really good. Right, so I could actually get rid of a few Rotten Hearts for safety here by doing this. If I do that, that'll get rid of one. And I can pop that there. I could do that a few more times if I wanted to. But anyways, let's let's grab this and hope for the best. We did get a bad trip in there, but I think we had power pill before bad trip and therefore it didn't damage us. Overall it was pretty good stuff. Right, let's keep it going. Keep things moving. We'll indeed grab both of these. I love the amount of damage we're able to do right now. Ooh! So these, this book creates Eye of the Occult Wisps. Not Eye of the Occult, sorry. Um, Eye of Belial. Which is very nice, because that is, that is herming. An extra damage. Lovely. Good amount of money. We keep getting a lot of money as well for every shop. I'm sure our next shop will be uh, the one that we don't want it to be. Thank you, little delirium dry baby. Oh, that was so stupid. I killed him, and the game's like, eh, well, you shouldn't have. You dick. Okay. Don't really think I need to open any of those. You can see how my wisps and my flies are doing a ton of damage as well through walls, which is very nice. As I say, I'm glad I got all these rotten hearts, to be honest, because it's the damage we're dealing with them is is pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, enemies dying in half HP as well is is just some of these streak uh, runs have, have just been. Something else. They really have. Something else entirely. Imperfection's obviously really helping out as well right now with the extra drops. We like that. We do get ourselves analog stick, which I will buy for the extra fire rate. The book there is pretty good too, but I honestly prefer the book we have now. I never remember how to actually do this um this room. It's basically just Pac-Man, right? I've just got to make my way to the end of the maze, which is always a little tricky, but this guy can't fly over these blocks, so overall it's not that bad. We do get some extra money for doing a room like this as well, if we'd like it, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. I'm not going to go around and pick up literally every single penny, but I'll, I'll grab a good few of them where I can. Nice. Thank you for that little room. It's always a bit scary to come across that room. Um, I don't actually yet. That's very annoying. Uh, I was I was doing really well at not getting hit there, and I, I walked into this room and I was like, I don't actually know how I do this room without being hit. I think the only way to do it is to not have fired at him, but since I fired at him, I, I had screwed myself. I walked in firing and the game punished me for it. So we did lose quite a lot of stats there, um, along with, I think we lost about five damage. Um, we lost quite a bit of speed, and obviously we lost fire rate too. And the bigger pain is that we lost perfection, but I think overall it's it's fine. Um, I will buy the blanket. Thank you. Like, we're still in an absolutely perfectly fine position right now. That's not really shaking things up too much. I'll actually admit, the thing I'm missing more than anything else right now is the speed. Like, it's not even that, like, I was on great speed, but moving from high speed to low speed is all... It always just feels like a... Like, it just feels gross. <laughs> It just doesn't feel right. Opened all that up for us nicely. Just, just, just why? Can we, can we explain why rooms like this even exist? Also, I'm going to have to activate this guy to get him to get step the fuck off that button.
some we, we we need some we need some like Harvard scientists to explain how this is fun. Cause I don't know why. Like this is so fucking time consuming. <laughs> Oh my god, the spikes make this so much more tedious. Okay. Thank god that's over. I I I I should have just bombed out. It's just just silly to sit through all of that. I should have just bombed my way out. We've not seen our item room as of yet, so we'll go back and check for that. I do like the boss gives us shortcuts there. And the red room gives us another bit of a shortcut here as well. It's rather nice, isn't it? You have to speed through some of these rooms. One second. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I'm not buying the rest of your goods right now. Soul heart there. Nice. Ooh, the good old snail boy. The snail boy himself. Thank you, Randy. And then here we've got that. Unfortunately, no other red rooms, sadly. I think, I think if we went into the curse room, we'd also get a red room from that too. But with my rotten hearts, I'd rather not do that. I don't even know why I'm producing more damage right now. I'm only doing it for the boss. Bosseth or uh, Bosseth, what item do you have for me? Would you like to give me another angel deal, Sivu player? That would uh, that would go down quite the treat, I'll be honest. That would go down quite the treat. Right, let's go take a little look, see who we're uh, who we're up against. Someone that cannot hang. Remember, once we get him down to a quarter HP, he just dies. We did get a, a, a deal, but unfortunately it's a devil deal, not an angel deal. I'll take a peek in here just to see what's what. We did get a very good item. Risk reward is very good, but we'd have to trade our current active for it, which I'm not willing to do. Um, I'll take another rotten heart. And yeah, we'll just keep going. Unfortunately, yeah, no angel, uh, no angel deal there. We did get a deal, just not the one we were looking for. Yeah, we didn't even really need that bonus fire rate, to be honest. We're still killing it. Hey, we got the battle axe. I like the battle axe. Good item indeed. Honestly, this thing that mean means that enemies die at half HP plus having a lot of flies is just obscenely good. It's very, very nice. Also, yeah, my wisps are doing an unholy amount of damage. Can we get the flechette to increase our wisps' damage? Now, that would be good. So this, this is an error room right below us. That right there is an error room. So actually, what we could do is we could error room out of this floor, but this floor is mother's foot, so we would lose out on foot, uh, the Polaroid negative if we did that, which obviously we don't really want. It's good that I spotted that, because that could have led to some confusion and some wasted potential as well. By the way, okay, just just to, just to give a shout out to a game right now. So, some of you will know that I've been watching for a while, but I'm big into um, ARPGs like Diablo. Diablo 3 is like one of my most played games of all time. It literally only recently this year got taken over um, by Isaac. Isaac, I now have, like, on Steam, I now have logs of 1,900 and something hours. Um, and Diablo 4 was, like, 1,500, 1,600. How am I not able to kill any of these guys? Oh, dude, this is really frustrating. Why are these fucking dudes dying? Is this the same situation as before? I think it is. Certain enemies with certain types of invincibility just, like, won't die. Bit of a strange bug. Um, 
It's annoying because I lost some wisps on, on those runes to that. Uh, I could technically make boss rush if I was real, real quick. But I don't think I'm quick enough. I think, unfortunately, these enemies can't can't be deaders. Does Debug 10 work on them? It works on one of them, but not both for some reason. That's a bomb through this room as well. Unfortunate. Um, but yeah, uh, those of you that, that, that probably know me will know that Diablo 3 is my most played games. I quite like Diablo 4 as well, but it isn't quite Diablo 3. But recently, recently, I've been playing Last Epoch because that came out in its 1.0 release. And Last Epoch is essentially the next ARPG, but it's a, it's a very indie developed one. And oh my god, is it like just an absolutely fantastic game. It's so good. <laughs> uh, right, am I just going to go for it? I've missed my shot. But I do have a full card, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I might not even full card, you know, because it means faffing around with those rooms again, and I really can't be asked with that. Um, we'll take this, we'll take that. Yeah, let's just go. I don't want to faff around with the shop and going through those rooms again. That would be a little bit of a nuisance for me. But yeah, I think we're uh, we're we're in the running for a pretty solid run here. We've 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 only been hit once thus far, I think, by an actual enemy. So that's got a that, that, that's got a pretty good track record as well. Got plenty of keys to work with here when we get to the actual boss on the uh, the chest floor. I will crack these open. Random syringe? Do we want random syringe? Every time. Golden Trinket Plus has some sort of interaction with this specific, like, like the, the challenge rooms. The, oh, okay, now that was a hit that, that was, I feel, was pretty much unavoidable. Game just kind of screwed me there. Lovely amounts of money that I don't need. I will take the um, thingy card here and just skip this floor. Wow. Don't even know what happened there, but it, it insta-died. We did get ourselves another angel deal. Seraphim is fine to join the crew. Why not? Um, and we will keep on moving and grooving. Beautiful stuff. Gotta love finding an emperor card in the womb. People that don't emperor card the, the womb and skip womb floors are sadists. <laughs> There are people I don't understand. Why would you spend more time on a floor where you take double damage that doesn't have an item room or a shop? It just... Some people do it, and it just makes no sense to me. If you've got the opportunity to get the hell out of there, get the hell out of there. But it's a kind of a rarity that you get the opportunity to just skip the, uh, skip the womb, so... Why wouldn't you? It is kind of a weird, like... It's it's a it's a strange but understandable design choice, where, the way that it works with the womb and, like, not having item rooms and stuff. Because it's like... It kind of does actually kill the fun of the run a little bit. Because, you're like, until you get to the chest, you're not, your run's not growing anymore. But at the same time, the item's power levels are designed in such a way where... You're kind of the right level of power by the time you get to the womb to curse on that power for the rest of the game. And you'd just get too powerful if it gave you more stuff and they'd have to like, weaken the items overall to make it fitting sort of thing. Which I think isn't the best way to do things. You don't want to, like, make things artificially weaker just to sort of fit the damage curve, uh, fit, the, like, the difficulty curve. I think it does have a good curve. It just, it just means, yeah, it can be a little, the later game can be a little more dull because you just don't get as many new items for your build. Hello, ferryman. But yeah, this setup isn't. Uh, it's it, this this item, the the fifty percent HP one. It seems bugged in two ways. Some enemies can't die for some reason, which I'm assuming is it attributed to that item. But also, some enemies like that boss seem to die instantly, and I, I'm never really sure why. <laughs> Card for the box. Thank you. Remember, quarter HP is all we got to get you to. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a lot of wisps here. 
lovely stuff. Unfortunately, no angel deal here, which is a shame. I was really hoping for our last hurrah there. But we're in a good spot nonetheless. Oh my god, look at the hair. <laughs> if you pause the game as you go to the next floor, the hair goes wild, man. It's lovely. Okay, careful that fire. These guys, those skeletons normally take forever to kill, so it's nice to see those going down at half HP. These are one of the enemies that I was... Like, I'll be honest, actually. Repentance kind of, kind of edged me a little bit in terms of the way that, basically... When they were doing, like, hints and, like, little teasers of things in Repentance, they were like, oh, we're adding holy enemies to the, um, to the, the last floor. And it kind of also implied that there was going to be cursed enemies at the, um, other floor. And there isn't really any cursed enemies apart from the black ones, but they're, they're very, very rare and you only really see those on the, uh, Ascent. And then there's, like, two holy enemies. Like, I'd love, I'd love to see a mod pack come out, um, like a, a monster pack come out that adds a bunch more of them. I, I know that there is a few in um, Fiend Folio and I think there is a few other mods that do, that do add some, but it'd be nice to see a dedicated pack. That's one of them there that we just saw. Then there's the Holy Eyes that fire the light beams and then there's the uh, the Holy Burnies, but that, there isn't really any others other than that. And I'd like to see the floor more themed and same with like cursed enemies. I mean, as well, like you've already got the, the, the sort of reference sheet for the sprite work in the, um, in the card game. Four Souls has a ton of um, cursed enemies and holy enemies that you can pull from um, and create some stuff. Like like I said, there is a few in mods. I think there's a holy clotty in the Fiend Folio and stuff. So it's not like there isn't any. Right. Away we go. Last floor. Last floor it is. Good. Good. Eden's Blessing is weird. It's a good item. It's a good fire rate. But for some reason, for a while now, it hasn't actually worked. As in, like, on my next run, it hasn't given me an item. So it might or it might not. Repent Repentagon might have fixed stuff with that. I don't know. I don't know why I opted to do this this way, but I've committed now. <laughs> So I gotta say, we'll see if Eden's Blessing actually ends up giving me an extra item or not. The last few times I've had it, it's just been a good tears up and nothing much else. Which is still nice. Still, it's still a very good tears up. Nice to have the quarter health with all of these bosses on this floor because there is just so many bosses. And there's some crazy train reactions. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get anything that works with our crutch uh, trinket for the extra herming. We never got a single thing that fires uh, a luck-based effect, which is rare for a run, to be honest. Normally, you get something. But it is unusual, but it is what it is. Ooh, extra shop. I will check you out. And we did get Aubrey, which I'm going to take just because Aubrey um, goes well with... Uh, George. I don't think there's any synergy between them, and Aubrey literally can't do anything for us, but why not? Go around to the snail. Help us out here. Oh, we did, actually, we did get a herming shot there. Okay, so something's firing herming shots. I don't know what. Oh, uh, it's, um, it's, it's cholera, whatever it's called. The, the poop tears. They are, they are a luck-based effect, so we, de we now do have some herming. Ooh, that was an unfortunate hit. That was some creep, I think it was. We did pretty well for not getting hit. We only got hit like twice this entire run so far. But I'm not going to bash myself too much for that. Especially because it was creep. I don't really see it. Good old pet rock. Hell yes. <laughs> My god. We are just demolishing. Not got many rotten hearts left, but I'm really glad that I ended up taking what's it called, um... Something that gives us all the rotten hearts. I do think it's a bit strong, to be honest, as an item. Like, obviously giving you all rotten hearts is risky, but giving you one heart container and two burn hearts, I think what it should be is one burn heart, one heart container, and four rotten hearts. Otherwise, like, it, it's quite strong. Like, we've not even lost the burn hearts yet. 
Obviously, it's all relative to skill, to be honest. Like, if you're, if you're a worse player, you'll, of course, lose, um, lose your burn hearts more easily. If it's a worse run, you might lose them more easily. Ah, shit. I'm trying to sneak past these shots, but it's not a good idea. I don't really know why I'm doing it. I just committed. Beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, ran out of a lot of wisps here, so we are in some slight danger. And I do believe this guy has damage protection while he's balled up like this. Okay. Boss man, where are thou? This is another boss that we can't kill. Can I kill it with bombs? No. Dude, this is weird, man. I can't even bomb out of this room, so I'm going to have to, like, give myself dad's key. I don't know. How's this going to work? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give myself dad's key. Is there a command to open doors? Give dad's key. Not even the right way. I know like, my active item was good, but I'm going to have to give up on it for now. Debug eight. My god, this has been a whole ordeal, this has. <laughs> Luckily, like, I, I am sort of privy to knowing how to use the console commands to get myself out of weird, sticky situations. Because with this being a streak, we... Although technically, yes, I am cheating by using the console, the game is also cheating me out. I don't, I don't know what I got hit by then at the end of that room. That was kind of bullshit. Yeah, the game is kind of cheating me out being able to continue my run by glitching, so... I'm going to use bombs where I can. Lost my holy mantle, finally. Took two hits there that I really shouldn't have taken. How are you still in this phase? Get to your last phase, my guy. Dude! There you go. He should die pretty much instantly in this phase, because he's at a third health now and he'll die at a quarter, so... There you go. Nice and easy. Hope you guys did enjoy this. It was definitely a fun one. A crazy run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.